Hey guys, it's Kat Von D here. And I figured in celebration of us releasing my first single, Exorcism, from my album, Love Made Me Do It, I thought it would be really cool to show you guys a little sneak peek behind the scenes of how the music video was made. And what better way of doing that than with my bandmates, who all were such a crucial part in making this music and also making this music video come to life. I do want to introduce each of you guys and what your part in the band is. This is Greg, AKA Mr. Pharmacist. Yeah, so I play keys and the rest is kind of to be determined. Yeah. Depending on the live show. Yeah. Maybe some guitar, definitely some dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then this is Sammy Dahl, who we all know and love. I, uh, I play synths. I play the board keys, if you will. Me llamo Dave Parley, y en la banda estaba haciendo la batería y batería eléctrica, todo lo que tenía que hacer con los ritmos. And then Bryn. Hello. <laughs> I will be doing movement and pole and like some bendy creature. Yep, she's creepiness. our. She's our in house contortionist. So. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was important to create like basically take the personalities that I know of each of you and then like make them into this like superhero, gothy, whatever characters for the music video. So together we really worked hard on creating each and everyone's look. And I think that was really important in part of the storytelling because even though we all have so many things in common, we're all so different from each other. So that was like, that's one of the beautiful things I think about our band. For me, I always wear some sort of semblance of a suit so that was going to be the way it was no matter what. The whole thing for me felt like this sort of El Topo kind of vibe, you know, like yeah. because we were in the, the dry rocks and everything, it had like kind of an old Western thing. So my character, when we meet, you know, we're, we're with you to help support your journey. And so uh, we have this like very like spaghetti Western stare off in the beginning, like, oh, there you are, there you are. And like they get my close up. So it's, it's cool. I was able to be the gothic superhero that I've always wanted to be <laughs> and uh, was just wearing this awesome bodysuit uh, that I was sewn into with the harness uh, underneath it so when I could do like the jumps it looked exactly the same. JD from Majesty Black like was such an angel, he was just there the whole time just making sure that I was sewn in and, and sewing it back up after it was taken out. I've always wanted to channel that sort of feminine side of bringing the femme fatale, but also like the, the brutality, but the delicacy to it. And I think that it was really executed well. Yeah, but... mission accomplished, man. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. For me, I feel like it's like if I was in a movie, like if I was recording in a never-ending story, one of the one of the 80s or Hitman, like, oh, okay, now I can get out what I feel like I am, and fly, and fly, and fly, and fly, and if I fly, it doesn't hurt, but although it's fun, it's very interesting, I feel like I can express it in this form of movies that you grew up watching, that, oh, I want to do that, and now I have the opportunity to do it with my best friends, so it's very important for me in this time. I was wearing a suit by my friend at Twisted Movement, who I love her stuff. It's like so easy to move in and she like slices it and twists it and it's like very durable. So it was fun to be like kind of this like latexy creature out in the sun in yeah. the desert. That's awesome. So basically in order to make the ending of the video be as impactful as possible and we had to make the entire beginning of the video be as dramatic as possible and that's why I thought we got to do stunts. I know you guys are brave enough to do stunts even though we're not trained at all. <laughs> but it was it was your guys's first time doing stunts, right? I can't say that I've ever flown before <laughs> and now I can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The challenge for me that everyone else seemed to be okay with is when they pull the the le the pulleys you have to like land specifically. And I was ha I had more trouble as, and you'll see in the video, I kind of take steps forward where everybody else lands like in a superhero pose. <laughs> oh, and you did it like a million times. Yeah. Because really you're the first that. one. Yeah, conmigo experimentaron. Ah, sí. Me estaba, me aventaba y ellos me empujaban. Bueno, lo... Lo empujan la cuerda para que no te caigas, pero como yo me aventaba y a veces no, el equilibrio no está tanto entre la persona que te jala y, y entre tú, así que a veces me caía o me levantaba, pero estuvo divertido, estuvo, yeah. estuvo yeah. curada. 
we can talk about your levitation scene yeah. because that was really cool. We did that on the first day. Yeah. Um, and it had it just started to get dark, but it was like this this scene where you looked like you were like 25 feet in the I, air. I was just jealous because I didn't get to do a jump. <laughs> I'm you like, no, I, I, get to, cool. I get to lay down. No. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I feel like it was kind of like a weird, funny moment, especially, I don't remember if it was me getting my makeup done or one of you guys were getting your makeup done. And I just looked over and in the corner, Bryn was doing her warm ups, And I just remember going like, whoa, like her ankles are like somewhere in the air. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm like, this is like a first time ever backstage moment. So I feel like watching Bryn do her warm ups is already like so intense and so amazing. <laughs> the, my favorite moment was like when we were walking and then she jumped on my back yeah. and like it, it was like getting prepared for this thing and then like but seeing the finished product yeah. was great i told you it was gonna be worth it it was very <laughs> worth it i i did definitely feel like climbing up those rocks that you were yeah. talking about in heels yeah. like then and, and it was just one of those like all right it's cool guys i got this no worries and, like, just climbing up and then but looking down and like the cameramen they just keep getting smaller and yeah. smaller as <laughs> we keep getting higher and higher well originally we were supposed to cgi that and then i was like fuck it we're good. we're climbing up a mountain like, yeah we got this <laughs> yeah. so i feel like this is a really good time for us to invite all of you to watch the music video together as we do our commentary and you'll get uh, a little bit more of the behind the scenes touch on how we made exorcism. All right, here we go. So basically this intro, it was inspired by Alejandro Jodorowsky, like there's a movie called El Topo. I just always remember this intro scene of like this black silhouette of a man on a horse riding through the desert with a little umbrella. And so that was definitely paying homage to that. He's obviously one of my favorite directors. He's up there. So obviously this required a lot of acting, this part, because there was literally no castle on top of the mountain. That was later on imposed with CGI. But this was basically setting the premise for the story. Okay, we're on a mission. We got to get to the top of this mountain. So I posted a little sneak peek of this intro and like my favorite comment on it was like, oh, hey, you got a video of me and my friends going to the beach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I just thought, like, this is literally how we would dress if we were going to the beach. <laughs> like, this is basically like the beginning of our mission. You know, we see Greg on top of a hill and we're like, you. Yeah, you're coming, <laughs> coming with, with us. us. <laughs> it was kind of an important detail in the designing of this music video was that to make everything black and gold. Dave's drum set is black and gold. Greg's gloves in this shot, they're black and gold. And all of our accessories are black and gold. So I remember you came out with me to watch Sammy's jump. Right. And so that inspired you because she was doing all these crazy kicks and stuff. Yeah. And you're like, well, I want to do a kick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have like some, a few outtakes of you doing like the craziest <laughs> yes. kicks that did not make the cut. <laughs> what about the back bend? Well, <laughs> the funnest thing about filming anything with Bryn is that I'm like, do whatever you want. <laughs> and then she'll say, this is what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. When Sammy comes on the scene, we're, we're like, does she like us? <laughs> or is she one of us? It's just my face. <laughs> I, I love I it. I swear I'm friendly. <laughs> it's the best. But let's talk about your jump, though. <laughs> that jump was amazing. I mean, this was one of my favorite things I've ever done. This is so awesome. I love it. And then the landing is just so epic. I'm like, oh, it's like you should have. You sh you need to be the next Catwoman. <laughs> So my idea for that scene for the jump, I just thought of like Lost Boys and just like how there's this just camaraderie and we're on a crazy deadly mission, but it's still fun. And I loved it. It was like just nostalgic and romantic about it. I thought it was awesome. I loved it too. It was so fun. Well, also <laughs> when you were about to, I didn't know because yeah. when you were yeah. gonna, it was like, okay, rolling. Yeah. yeah. I had to just kind of be ready. There was like one outtake where you were laughing the whole time. It was pretty good. <laughs> we tried a few, yeah. definitely. Yeah, this look, has a lot of emotion. And then when you, your face, you try to like sneak your face in like, oh, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. 
that yeah. part. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about the fanny pack? <laughs> I think that was my Shani. your jump is my uh, my all time favorite because it's like a the land is so good, but just. I remember just all the takes and just watching your fanny pack and the fringe just like flying in the air. I'm like, this, this is just the coolest. But um, I will note though, the dust that you like when you land, it's not real, it's CGI. Let's oh. get a like that. <laughs> get a <laughs> like <laughs> By this point, I think I went through three different sets of prosthetic tears <laughs> because it was just so fucking hot the entire time we were filming that, that they were literally melting off my face. This is the part where I feel like we're paying a, a bit of homage to Michelangelo and the Sistine Chapels. You know, the God touching human and it's Dave Parlay and Sammy Doll <laughs> going up the hill. But it's it's like this beautiful art piece. I loved I loved how painterly it felt. So we should probably talk about the stairs here. What was funny was that we cheated the front of the castle to be my actual house. And at the time we were repairing the stairs because um, the old ones were, had been falling apart. So we had had a construction crew over and they were jackhammering everything. And I basically was like, oh, leave it, don't fix it. We're gonna, we gotta film this shot, you know, to make it look like it's transitioning from a mountain into a castle. And, um, and it actually works. So you can see the actual jackhammer marks um, yeah. On the, but it, it really, it really did. Totally. Yeah, yeah, it really. I don't know how else we would have cheated that. Originally, I wanted the final reveal of the cat to be my cat pee off. And he was unfortunately super camera shy. And so, but Nietzsche, who's a total ham, he just like jumped up on the throne. And I was like, okay, well, Nietzsche will be Piaf's stunt double. And then while this video was getting edited, you know, Piaf ended up passing away. And so the ending to this is obviously still funny and cute, but um, now to me, it feels a little bit more like a, a little memorial piece. And I'm, I'm really glad that we, we made this video, our first video and the timing that it happened. And so then we have this slow pan that ends up landing at the top of our ceiling in the ballroom, which we painted a portrait of pee off. And so, um, and then the crows that you hear in the distance, they're fake. We impose those in post. <laughs> Sounds good though. And then we got credits, you guys, <laughs> like they do in the movies. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. 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 Yay. Kat, you look so good. Oh, like, everyone looks amazing. Everyone, like, everyone. Wow. Yeah. So there you guys go. Yeah. Secret love. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That was cool. so fun to see. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all, our, our, all our hard work paying off. So. Oh my God, it's so oh, cool no, to man, see. Oh, no, man. There were some together. terrible ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>